Hi guys, this is Grandma Chief Chief and I'm coming to you from my home here in Southern Colorado. And uh, today I will be trying a new fish. I wanted some fish today. And it's called Swai. This, um, this fish appeared in the market. I had never heard of it. I've been looking at it and just never really tried it before. So um, I got a pack um, maybe a month ago. It's been in the freezer. And today I'm going to um, try the Swai. C-S-Y. Okay, and what I learned, I did some research on this, and I learned that it is a form of catfish. See that little catfish right there? So that makes me happy because catfish has gone up a lot in the store. Everything is, but catfish um, is one of my faves. Okay, so I did some uh, research online and it says it's an imported river catfish from Asia. It's commonly sold in the U.S. simply as catfish. Um, check country of origin labels to be sure you know where your catfish is from. So let me just see where this is from if I can see it. Give me a moment. Farm raised, distributed by the Mazzetti Company, LLC, Highland Park, Illinois. Okay. And it says, um, further says, commercial farming of river catfish, also known as bassa. Uh, a word I can't pronounce, and swai, is southeast. East Asia has increased rapidly in years. River catfish has a strong potential to be sustainable, but there are con conservation concerns with the current practice of open cage aquatic culture, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, what I wanted you to know is that swai can be used in place of catfish. And catfish is just terribly expensive. So um, I think this package was five dollars maybe. And I have four nice size fillets right here. I guess I could buy catfish nuggets, but I don't like a nugget. I don't like anything nugget. And I'm going to fry it just like I would catfish. So let me get my oil working here. Uh, right here is my my fish, um, my um, coating that I use for fish, oysters, anything seafood that I'm going to fry. And I make my own, but the base of it is Zatarans. I just add things to it to make it um, go a little further. i rather have my catfish or my fried fish a little more um, not as corn mealy. I, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is to coat my fish. I've already washed it. And first let me just turn the camera over here to the stove. Since I'm, since I'm doing a lot of canning and so forth, I am not doing a bunch of cooking. So this is our meal. It's uh, quite simple today. I also use, I have a um, grease container that I always keep from when I fry bacon or chicken or 
things like that, I always keep that. It's good also to flavor your greens or green beans, whatever. Now see my um my catfish is not really grainy like a like a cornmeal. And that's because I put something else in there. Aha. Okay. Good sized piece of fish. I also don't know how much oil I use because I just pour it in. And I think I can get three in there. So I'm flowering up another one. Yep, I'm going to squeeze this third one in. a biggie. Hopefully it'll shrink a little. Now, um, when I'm seasoning my fish, I do like um, seasoning salt, so that one's not going to move too much. There it is. So let me get my homemade seasoning salt. And I appreciate all my viewers. Um, however, I had a new subscriber from... Um, Overseas, I think Australia or New Zealand, who made my seasoning salt and they were giving it out to, um, they were getting married, they made the seasoning salt and they gave it as party favors. That's cool. Now I'll also like to see the seasonings on my fish so what I'm using is you know just the lemon and pepper seasoning salt from um, Walmart a 50 cent while it lasts uh, product Okay guys, what I'm going to do is to um, just go ahead and um, flip this over, cook this because you don't need to really just stay around to look at the, um, the fish frying. But before I go and come back with the end product, let me just show you what else we're going to have for uh oh, sorry. Dinner. Here's the fish frying. I have some um, generic uh, mac and cheese. Just the generic kind. And my uh, broccoli. And I had a leftover little, um, um, what do you call those things? Brat. 
so as not to waste anything I just put it in there and of course some chow chow that's just in a pot so I'll see you guys later well wait a minute let me just see if I can flip one of these babies over and I'm going to go for the middle one first all right that's a beautiful beautiful light brown color I sure hope it tastes like catfish because I'll gladly substitute slides for cats especially at the catfish prices this one I'm gonna let <coughs> cook just a little bit longer and I'll come back with you when my plate is ready okay all right Okay guys, that didn't take any time to cook up and look how beautiful this swai is. Um, I will try some while on camera. I'll just fix my plate. I have the other filet over here um, frying now. And this is just a simple, um, simple mac and cheese. What I did was just make some uh, penne pasta, open a can of, of um, cheddar cheese soup. Put a little seasoning salt in it, and that's all she wrote. And let's see, some broccoli. Yum love broccoli um, let me get me a little brat pizza brat I'm gonna put a little chow chow get a carrot there Okay, I'm going to try this swai while you're on camera with me. Let me just lift that one. Okay, get a fork. Isn't that a beautiful plate? You betcha. Mmm. Well, I know my coating is very good. Uh, mm. And it does taste like catfish. So. I'm glad I was able to do this review for you so um, when you see that fish in your market and right now it's very reasonable um, try swai mm -mm, sorry swai not <laughs> all right I was trying to make a little funny there um, please uh, subscribe leave a comment um, visit me on Twitter at Jam Grandma Chipo um, if you have any questions or concerns, please write me at GrandmaCheapCheap at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye now.